Okay, what's up guys? I gotta get you up to speed on this because I think I got a little bit ahead of myself earlier. So last night I may have said something to the camera about uh, planning on stripping this with chemical stripper. This stuff right here, my gel formula. I opted that out because I didn't have time to do it that way. So instead I just went to town, set up my sandblaster and sandblasted the frame, bars, and chain guard, and got those all prepped. They needed to be sandblasted because they had many layers of spray bomb. Then I did clean these, the calipers up, using the stripper. So that shows you the end result of that. They have not been polished in any way. They've just been stripped and wiped down with a rag. And that's what they come out looking like. Ready for paint. So all these parts here, small parts. So we got the chain guard, seat post clamp, upper and lower cable stops for the gyro, the stem clamp, and then the calipers, front and rear calipers. All these parts are gonna going red, super red it's called. So it's a really vibrant red and the frame and bars are going white, frozen white. It's got a touch of blue in it just to give it that cold look. And then these parts here, these are the chrome parts and they will remain as they are. I'm just going to hit them with some others and polish them up slightly and they are ready to go. I still have to figure out these pedals. They're ugly as shit and I don't want to use them and I'm waiting on parts. I was gonna paint today, but it was too windy earlier, and now it's nighttime and it's snowing slightly. So I'm not painting tonight. I'm gonna sew together a hot pink rad skin for our last build, the 86 Kuahara Scam. So in case you didn't know, I fabricate BMX center stands, I fabricate BMX stretchable covers, I make custom number plates, pad sets, decal kits, I do all kinds of BMX products. I have 15 different number plate designs, four of which I'm working on a deal with Porkchop BMX. We have approvals for four number plates to bring them back as licensed reproductions. These are plates that are no longer available, and if you can find them as NOS products, they cost a fortune. So, we're working on bringing these back to the BMX community at a fair price, so that everybody can afford to put one on their bike. Like I said, number one, I fabricate the rad stand. So, this is the stands here. That branched off to other products. I mean, these were all started based on my own collection, my own hobby, building BMXs. I needed a proper stand, so I built my own. Now I sell them. I needed a cover to keep my the dust off my bikes, so I made a cover. I needed number plates. You know, I'm building these bikes. I come across a problem, like I want a number plate. I don't want to spend $400. I make a number plate. I figure it out. Same with the pad sets. You can see this bike here has a number plate by me, pad set by me, graphics, done in-house and I, I'm just a problem solver so if, if you know something comes up that's a block in the road I figure out a way around it I am going to sew together a custom rad skin tonight hot pink rad skin oh it's gonna be glorious and then yeah I just wanted to get you up to speed on where I am with this so I did weld on this custom brake bridge earlier so that's the outcome of that the way I did that was I took a caliper I set the brake pads to the center of the adjustment. So in this slot right here, I set the brake pad to the center of that. Then I mounted a rear wheel on this and I set the rear wheel to the center of this, the adjustment in the rear dropout. And then I simply took the caliper and zip tied it to the wheel tight with the pads tight on the rim where they go. And then I lined everything up in here straight and located that new brake bridge. I fabbed this brake bridge out of a piece of flat bar and then uh, I located it using the rear wheel 
like I said, with a caliper zip tied to it, marked the frame, and I welded her on there. It's nice and straight. It's exactly where it needs to be. I've already checked it. The tire at the very maximum forward position does not rub, which is, that's key. Doesn't rub. And yeah, it's good to go. Probably strengthened up that rear triangle a little bit. And now I can put front and rear calipers on it. So again, like that was a problem I came across. This is a freestyle bike. It has to have front and rear calipers and it had no brake bridge or mount point otherwise. So I created my own. Sandblasted down the frame, fabbed up a new brake bridge out of some leftover material I had here in the shop. And that is the end result. By the time that's painted, no one will ever know that wasn't on the bike from day one. This project is coming along good so far and uh, I expect it to be smooth sailing from this point out. I just gotta get this stuff painted, wait on the parts. I still have a few other bits that I need to order, but it's coming together. So anyways, what I plan on doing here tonight, like I said earlier, is I'm gonna sew together a rad skin uh, I'm gonna go bust out all the materials and tools and equipment and stuff that I need to do that And then I'll quickly walk you through how I throw these together working on the rad skin and I'll show you what I've got so far. I started obviously went and bought the material Then I use this right here. This is a template that I made a while back based on the shape of a cover that I wanted So I use this template to cut out the middle strip and I use this template right here to cut out the two side pieces, trace those onto the material, cut them out, end up with two of these, two pieces the same shape as that, and one piece folded in half the same shape as this. So that allows me to sew those three pieces together and make a rad skin. So I got the pieces cut, ready to be pinned together. I got my sewing machine here. This is a basic little singer, nothing special. Uh, good pair of scissors for cutting the material. And then my sewing kits. So thread in that one, pins, needles, scissors. And yeah, so I mean that's the prep work, pretty basic. You, you know, buy the material, cut the material, pin the material together, and then sew it. So I'm gonna go through pinning this and then I'm gonna sew it together and I'll bring the camera back to check out what I got done. Hold on to your hats. Tune in, like, subscribe, rad boys.